Time-traveling pilot Adam Reed makes an emergency landing in 2022 and together with a 12-year-old goes to save the future. Will he be able to come back and save his family? In 2018, the main character Adam was constantly involved in school fights. After another fight, the boy's mother was called to school. Adam lost his father a year ago. Mom on the way home was trying to figure out what was going on with her son's behavior. She was worried about his future, because it's not the first time he's been caught in fights, it will have a bad effect on his characterization. At home during dinner, mom went out for dinner with her boyfriend, Adam didn't want to talk about it, but mom promised to have a conversation in the evening. Before leaving, mom told Adam not to play games, but he didn't listen to her. Later, the lights in the house abruptly turned off, and Adam's dog jumped out of bed and ran outside. The boy went outside with a flashlight. While Adam was looking around the dog ran away the boy followed her. On the way he picked up a bat. Adam went out of the yard into the woods looking for a dog. But suddenly he saw golden leaves that were falling from the sky. The boy's surprise was interrupted by a dog. Adam heard strange noises in the forest from fright he and his dog ran home. When they reached the garage they stopped. Immediately there was a creaking in the yard and the dog ran towards the sound. It turns out it was a garage door. Adam decided to go in there. The boy cautiously shone a flashlight on things in the room, but abruptly noticed a man sitting on the floor. It was a man, his hand was covered in blood. Adam turned on the light and armed with a bat began to ask the man who he was. It turned out that this man was a pilot. The owner of this garage was Adam's father. The boy immediately started to take out his phone to call, but the man dissuaded him. The man's thigh was covered in blood. The unknown man abruptly got up to go into the house. Adam tried to swing the bat at him, but the man immediately knocked it out of the boy's hands. The man went into the house. Throwing his things on the floor, he began to look for food in the refrigerator, rudely handling objects around. The man began to treat his wound. Adam began to rummage through the things of an unknown man, but he was against it. It turned out that the man had a bullet wound. The man decided to go upstairs to get a means to treat the wound. Adam was surprised and bombarded the unknown with questions. The man knew everything about the boy. When the dog started barking both said her name. According to the man, the name Lewis for the dog was invented by him. Adam and the unknown man had identical scars on their chin, and the boy also noticed that the man was wearing his father's watch on his arm. Adam and the man were back in the woods. While walking, the man said that he was here because of the rescue operation. He happened to be here by accident, he had to return in 2018. It turned out that this man is Adam, but from the future. Young Adam decided to find out how Adam from the future got here. The first attempt to show how he got here was unsuccessful due to the fact that the time travel technique cannot read DNA because of the wound, so an adult Adam cannot repair the plane. Since little Adam is the same person, he was able to help him and called the plane. A fighter jet appeared in the sky, to which the heroes went on a flying platform. While young Adam was looking around in the plane, Adam from the future was trying to fix the fighter. He regretted that he met himself from the past and hid many things. It turned out that the character's memories will be combined when the adult Adam returns to his own time. Adam from the future went to rest in the garage. But young Adam was surprised that everything turned out that way. When Adam from the future was left alone, he took out a photo of the girl he remembered with sadness. The boy was sitting on the couch with his dog when his mom returned. After a short conversation about the last date, there was a knock on the door. The same boyfriend of mom came to bring her a scarf. Mom decided to introduce Adam to her boyfriend. Putting her coat on the sofa, mom went out into the yard. An adult Adam was looking at her from the garage window. In the morning, the boy saw his mother at home, she was looking for a policy to pay bills. Adam rudely answered his mother's request for help. After Adam's mom left for work, Adam went to the garage and immediately noticed that his father's favorite song was playing in the garage. Young Adam was surprised that he could become pumped up and tall in the future. He was very interested in what was happening in his future, but adult Adam did not want to answer these questions. Adam decided to go to the pharmacy. But he realized that with such clothes he could not go there, he decided that he needed to take his father's things. When Adam opened the closet, he realized that his mother had not touched his father's things. Little Adam said that his mother was a bad hostess. Adam from the future got angry because of this, saying that you need to respect mom because she takes care of him alone, despite the moral pain. 
The heroes went to the pharmacy along the way, little Adam found out that his version from the future was wounded while he was moving through time, so he ended up here. At this time, little Adam met the boys with whom he fought at school. This time, he was hit again. Adam from the future decided to end the conflict without shouting and swearing and just set up little Adam for a real fight. The boy failed to do anything, he was hit and he ran away. Immediately, Adam from the future decided to threaten one of the boys. Adam returned home but the garage was closed, the boy closed from the inside, he was offended that the adult Adam did not help him. Adam went to the bar. His mom was there. She was talking to the bartender about her son and the hard times. Adult Adam still decided to say a few words in support of mom. These words touched her. A sincere conversation took place between them, after which the mother decided to think about her behavior and attitude to her son. After that, Adam left the bar, his mother ran after him, but he was no longer on the street. While the two heroes were having breakfast, Adam was telling how he met his wife. She died two years ago due to a plane crash. Adam suspected that this murder was done on purpose. Adam from the future heard footsteps. He told the boy to take the bag out of the house and be ready to escape. Robot-like soldiers appeared in the doorway. After a fight with them, a ship appeared in the sky and his friend, who was one of the soldiers, was walking in the yard. From the ship came the voice of Maya Sarian, the ruler of the dystopian world. She turned to Adam to say that he was flying into the past in vain because he would not be able to change anything Lauren's death was an accident. Adam was ordered to be brought back to 2050. When Adam was lying on the ground, he saw Lauren who helped him fight the soldiers. Lauren and Adam from the future and the past ran into the car. It turned out that Lauren's plane was not broken. A plane appeared in the sky and started shooting at the car. Having strayed from them, they went ashore so that they would not be found. Adam and Lauren were very happy to meet after so many years. Lauren began to persuade Adam to return in 2018 and make it so that traveling to the future was not possible. Adam didn't want to go there because he didn't want to lose Lauren. They hoped that they could still meet in the future. But then they realized that the Saurian soldiers had found them. Lauren stayed to detain them and the Adams fled for their salvation. Lauren was preparing for battle. She blew up a car with soldiers. Meanwhile, the Adams were going back in time. Adam told little Adam that his life was not good and he regrets many things. They had a reserve of energy for only one time jump, Adam and his young version turned out to be in 2018. The guys went to the college where their father was giving a lecture. They needed to talk to him. Dad realized that they both came from the future. During the argument that the guys should go back to their time, the adult Adam hit his father so that he would start listening to him a little. Dad regretted that he could create a time machine. During a conversation in the gazebo, the Adams agree that they are both angry at their father because he died. Adult Adam saw everything in a bad way, but young Adam was able to remind him that his father always treated him with warmth and care. Father always wanted to be better for his family. Adam from the future decided to blow up Sorian's office. Little Adam helped him in the fight against the soldiers. Father started looking for the Adams to help them. When Adam and father removed the processor, Sorian entered from the future and the past to take it away. Sorian destroyed the electromagnetic field, because of this, all the iron was attracted to the core. Sorian admitted that she killed Lauren twice for her own gain. Sorian shot Adam's father to take away the processor, but the bullet hit Sorian from the past. Adam and his father began to leave Sorian's office. They were able to deactivate the accelerator. Adam and his father returned home. Father realized that he was going to die soon. But he was glad that he was able to see his son as an adult, because his son is his future. He loves his son very much. Adam feels very bad without his father. Adam and his father decided to remember their childhood and play a game. But when the father turned away for a second, the Adams were no longer there. Time has gone back to 2022. When mom was looking for a policy to pay bills, Adam did not answer her with rudeness, but explained that he was late for school. He remembered the words of an adult Adam and appreciated and loved his mother. In 2050, Adam and Lauren met again and got to know each other again at a lecture.